Sky Sketches. Hello, everybody that is watching this. And I know why you're watching this. You're either going to or have been to The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Or you are one of my few subscribers. Or you are very, very bored. Anyway, you are here. That's all that matters. So I'm going to show you what I got. We'll start with the essentials. Of course I went to Ollivander's and I knew I wanted um, a wand to choose me. Oh, and that. I knew I wanted a wand to choose me and that did happen. The first time I didn't really like get one to choose me, but this is the bag that I kept even though it's crinkly because it rained a bit. Oh yeah, we went to the one in Florida. That was fun. And it's very cute, you know. This right here is the wand that chose me. This is the box, and then it's supposed to be a birch one. And when he was like describing the characteristics of it, it like described me. I don't know, it was like creative and caring, and I just think of myself as that way. I don't know if anyone else does, but. Yes, that is my wand. And like they take you into like a little back place and then they choose someone. They'll more likely choose you if you like step up and stuff. Okay, next. I mean, guess which house I am. <laughs> Who would guess? This is a very low quality shirt, but I replaced it kind of. I'm still gonna wear it. But I also got this tie to go with what you're seeing, my robe. I got these suspenders beforehand, but I love them. Let's see, the robes, the robes, the robes. Where's the top? Let's see how far back I can get. These are the robes. They have the little point here, and then the sleeves have a bit of like space too. I got it in extra small, and I really like it. Here's the Gryffindor, and it has two buttons and the matching tie. So definitely have to get robes if you go there for the first time. Do I have anything in this bag? <laughs> there it is. Oh, it's the Oh yes, my dad actually wanted to get this, but Hogwarts to London. London to Hogwarts. It's really nice. Quite like it. Hmm. Is this two tickets? I think. Yeah. That's that. Is that a receipt? Okay, it's just a receipt. That's really nice. I like the gold. And then my dad also got this nine three quarter shirt. He's only read the first three. Pathetic. But uh, let's see what else I can get out. This lanyard. I put my passes on both sides, and it has like the Velcro, and like everyone gets one of these. It has the gold and this little thing, and it's really nice and stuff. I'll take. This, I might like wear it to school and stuff. <laughs> this video is gonna be really short. I should start going into more details. So yeah, in the wand choosing ceremony, I made flowers die, made boxes crumble, and then it just like glowed in their spans and I'm like magical. I felt very magical. Okay, one last thing I can grab. <laughs> This keychain, it is really nice. Looks like this. It has Universal on the back. It says Megan Gryffindor. They didn't have any of the other houses. That's why I'm so glad to be a Gryffindor sometimes. But it says that. That's fun. This. 
it is. If I can unwrap it. Go. Kill. Well, anyways, it is a one stand. I cannot remember how much it costs. I got the interactive one, by the way. Let's go back to that. I'm sitting on a cushion because I know it's over here. There's also the map. I didn't end up using the map, just looking for those like gold spots on the floor that tell you to spell the wand movement, what to say. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Ooh, free bubble wrap, too. It says, I haven't seen anyone get this, but it says, The Wizarding World of Harry Potter Universal Studios. And it has this, and where'd my wand go? Put my wand back in the box. And it has those little, like, X's, and we'll just hold your wand like this, perfectly. That's nice and cool. Okay. Ouchies. And the box is like made for this one too. It's kind of cool. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. What's next? Okay, let's go with this. This, I had to get. We had a reservation at the Leaky Cauldron and I asked for pumpkin juice. And if you say you want pumpkin juice in a bottle, they'll give you it in a bottle. So that's nice. And the bottle is super duper cute. I'm so in love. Like, I have a problem. Pumpkin juice tasted, like, not as terrible. Just, like, apple juice mixed with the smell of pumpkins. It's just, I didn't, I didn't like it. Dad did. Then this was Gilly Water. So we got like three bottles of this just because we were all like dying. And it's really cute. I'm going to keep it. 450, I remember that price. How much is this? If I figure out the prices, I will put them on screen. Contains 81% juice. What's the other 19%, huh? <laughs> okay, and the last bottle is this love potion. I actually got this soggy, whoopsies. That's just the tag, it's fine. And it came with like a liquid inside that was made out of like, what was it made out of? Corn syrup, syrup, honey, rose water. Tasted atrocious, gave me a slight stomach ache. I survived, it's fine, hated it. The water was good. <laughs> Funny story. And then the tassel and the gold. And it is really freaking adorable. I had to throw out most of the things though. And I think that was $9.95. I'll say them if I know them. Oh gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, just slide that up, slide that up. Bonus, what to do if your tassel's falling off your love potion bottle? Okay. Some glue will be involved later in the day. Stay, stay, stay. Okay. Also at, excuse me, Weasley's Wizard Weezes, Pick Me Puff. This one is named Fianto. Like the spell, if I can go in my spell book. The bookshop like wasn't open, it was, weird because I think they said it was like for muggles and stuff I basically got picked for this unofficial spell book because they're like hey you're ahead of the game I'm like thanks uh fianto dure is a defensive charm which based on the etymology strengthens shield charms and perhaps objects in general in a similar way to duro so I named him fianto I was gonna get a purple one but fell in love with the pink one my baby. What next? What next? What's in here? Oh, yes. Oh, this is. We're going to be here a while. Just, just saying, just saying. Okay. So, this was Gryffindor Quidditch from Filch's Emporium. You can get it at multiple places. But 
Filters Emporium is where you exit the Forbidden Journey ride, which is basically entering Hogwarts. And like, I've memorized the entire thing. We wrote it five times. Um, you like, you fly on a broomstick, then. There's like a whole dragon scene, and the dragon's like right up in your face and spits like colored mist. It's weird to explain. Um, and then there's spiders and Dementors and Quidditch and it's it's really fun. I that was my favorite ride of all. So I had to get something in Filters Emporium just to remember it by. And the flying was my favorite part. Like you're in like a four-person seat, like going like woo. Like it's rocking you back and forth and you're going throughout Hogwarts. It's in Hogsmeade or the Islands of Adventure. And I had to get this because the flying around, it felt like I was on a broomstick. Like legit. I was gonna get the broomstick, but they like look fake quality, like bleh. Where do I put this, okay. Hmm, is there anything else in this bag? No, but the bags are adorable. I might keep them all, I have a problem. And then we went in the arcade and like, the mini Los Angeles. And I got this little wristband. Yeah, that's kinda lame. Chocolate frog, number two. I got another one somewhere around here. Where is it? Did I just find the exact bag right away? Oh, yes. These were, how much were these each? Oh, oh, yes, so, oh, yes. 9.95 each. And this one, I already ate the frog, delicious chocolate, keeping the packaging. I got Rowena Ravenclaw. They also had like moving pictures in Hogwarts, like the whole line was amazing. But you have to get the express pass because otherwise you're waiting a long time. It takes the joy out of it. Don't know how much that is, but I think the express pass is worth it. How does one open this? It smells like chocolate. I wanna see what card I got. Let's see if we can edit this out. Okay, we'll edit this out. Just, oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I got it and points is a little depressing, but we got, <gasps> I didn't get Rowan at Ravenclaw, I got Godric Gryffindor. Holding his little sword. Okay, that's exciting, that's exciting. I really wanted him in that one too. Chocolate frogs, chocolate tastes amazing. Loving it. What next, what next? I'm gonna... Mm -hmm. I'm saving like the best things for last, like my favorite things. Oh, this has some good weight to it, what is this? I think I know what this is. Yes, it is brilliant. In perfect order too. It is this pin. I saw a lot of people get this and knew I wanted it. I found it in Hogsmeade at like a stand. And it says chocolate frog. Opens up, this is the big part. Has a little frog. Smells like chocolate, like strongly like chocolate. Like strongly. But it is the cutest thing ever. And then, last thing, because I'm such a nerd, at least from that shop. Um, Time Turner, there's actual sand inside. Like, this part stays still, the outer ring, and then the middle part turns, and then there's another part that turns, and this was $16.95, but I think it was worth it. I'm loving all of this stuff. This is like Christmas. Okay, I, I hope you didn't catch a glimpse of that. That's my favorite thing ever. Okay. Okay, this. Sugar quail. Tastes pretty good. 
actually write see it writes so that part's cool it tastes like fairly good nothing like special 495 really sugary so I guess it's called sugar quill okay 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 this is something else that I haven't really seen like anyone get Chocolate fries are ten ninety five each. Whoops. Okay. Anyways, this thing, the jars were like okay, but like I thought this was cuter and more colorful. Candy. Let's try it. Which one should I try? Let's try red. It's quite sweet. What were these called? Sweet and sour drops. Oh. Serving size 11 pieces. 9.95. But I love the packaging. Oh. Uh, that's super sour. And I think it's really cute. It's gonna look good on my shelf. All right. Cool. They had some like bright red ones, but I was gonna get the quill and ink and stand set, but I didn't want to actually like write with ink. This one's like a real pen though. Thought this was the most realistic design choice. Got that at the Owl Post in Hogsmeade. Then, go with that tower. To go along with it, a little cool stand says Hogwarts. Yeah, that's cute. We're getting to the end. The owl post was like so huge. Okay, let's see. Also at the owl post, I got this. That was my sugar quill writing for the first time. And. I haven't seen a lot of people like get this or the quill or the wand stand or this or because I binge watched those YouTube videos. So I haven't seen many people get this or any people get this. Has the logo and the saying on the front. And inside these are just like brown elastic. And it says Hogwarts and, and I presume like they're double sided. Yeah. Just for notes and stuff, I'm never gonna use it, huh? And this is one of my favorites. Like we went inside at first and we were just like looking around and then we went back and I got it like, the next day because I'm like, I need this. Uh, it's also gonna look good on my shelf. And lastly, but my favorite thing fa in the whole wide world was a pin. This was $14.95. Gosh, they like their 95s. Okay, so it is a quill, and you're like, what's special about that? Like, what what people at like out in the village in the town in Hogsmeade are gonna be like, hey, look, a quill. Like, that's not related to Harry Potter. It's just a quill. But wait for it. Wait for it. It has little red there. Are you seeing where I'm going with this? It was next to the Umbridge one. Hint, hint. And then on this. I must not tell lies. Gee, it's the cutest thing ever. Quill has little blood in it, and uh, it's my favorite thing ever. It's worth $14.95 every single bit. And you could wear like either. They're separate pins, and I, I could wear I must not tell lies, and everyone would be like, Harry Potter pin. Then I could also wear the quill. Everyone would be like, Harry Potter pin. These Gryffindor socks. Red and gold. Cute, cute. 
Then I got this Gryffindor shirt that I'm in love with. Got that at Quality Quidditch Supplies. Oh yeah! Quality Quidditch Supplies. How could I be so forgetful? Oh my god. I can put this tiny quill in this tiny quill stand. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. I almost forgot. But I got this. Yeah, let's take that out of the box. Wait, move this box. Okay. So this. So there's this. It's like really nice. Oh, that's gonna spoil it. This is the back of it. Harry Potter TM. And this is oddly shaped, isn't it? I wouldn't disagree with you there. <laughs> this is the Firebolt. So they had the Nimbus 2000 on display. Let's see if I can move this correctly. They had it on display. And my dad's like, hey, you have this for sale? And they're like, yes, actually. And we act all surprised, because we are surprised. And then they said they had the Nimbus 2000 and the Firebolt. And dad's like, I don't know what that means. And I'm like, Firebolt. <laughs> 